refers to the book of Exodus, chapter number 14. There you're going to find our assignment. Exodus chapter 14. We're going to read verses 10 through 16. Exodus chapter number 14. We're going to read verses 10 through 16. Verse number 16 is going to be our main scripture text today. If you will stand with us as we read God's word. Exodus 14, begin with verse number 10. Verse number 16 is going to be our main scripture text. Hear ye the word of the Lord. It says this, And when Pharaoh drew nigh, the children of Israel lifted up their eyes, and behold, the Egyptians marched after them. And they were so afraid, and the children of Israel cried out unto the Lord. And they said unto Moses, Because there were no graves, in Egypt. How thou taken us to, away to die in the wilderness? Wherefore hast thou dealt thus with us to carry us forth out of Egypt? Is not this the word that we did tell thee in Egypt? Saying, let us alone that we may serve the Egyptians? For it had been better for us to serve the Egyptians than that we should die in the wilderness. And Moses said unto the people, Fear ye not, stand still, hallelujah, and see the salvation of the Lord, which he shall shew you today. For the Egyptians whom ye have seen today, ye shall see them again no more forever. The Lord shall fight for you. Thank you, Jesus. And ye shall hold your peace. And the Lord said unto Moses, Wherefore criest thou unto me? Speak unto the children of Israel, that they go forward. Verse number 16, But lift thou up thy rod, stretch out thine hand over the sea, and divide it. And the children of Israel shall go on dry ground through the midst of the sea. But lift thou up thy rod, stretch out thy hand over the sea, and divide it. And the children of Israel shall go on dry ground through the midst of the sea. Can you just look at a neighbor and just say, neighbor, neighbor, oh neighbor, oh neighbor, God made a way, God made a way out of no way, out of no way. Just look at somebody else and just say, neighbor, neighbor, oh neighbor, oh neighbor, God made a way, God made a way out of no way, out of no way. Can you give God praise there today? Yeah. You may take your seat in His presence. It is a good thing yes, to know the Lord. Yes. One more time, it's a good, good thing yes, yes. to know the Lord. Amen. I will not trade this opportunity for anything Amen. in the world. To know Him is priceless. Yes. To feel Him is immeasurable. Yes. To connect with Him is life changing. And to experience his love and favor is indescribable. Again, it's a good thing to know the Lord. If you do not know him, I would encourage you to get to know him. And get to know him sooner than later. You need to find you a Bible believer. Salvation center. Yeah. Souls. 
stirring, Holy Ghost filled, tongue talking church to join and become a part of. Hallelujah. Why? Because I believe that in atmospheres like this, Christ can be revealed to us. Yeah. And you can become knowledgeable of who Jesus really is. Yeah. Yeah. In such places like this, we can all see just how involved Christ is in our lives. Yeah. We can come to grips with his influence in our lives. Uh -huh. Because the truth of the matter is this. God is the puppet master yeah. behind the curtains of your life. Yeah. Making ways out of no ways just for you. Hallelujah. Did you hear what I just said? I said God is a puppet master yeah. behind the scenes of your life. Yes, making ways out of no ways yeah. just for you. Yes, you are where you are. You have what you have. Yeah. You can do what you do yes, all because God yes. in the darkness of the night makes ways out of no way yeah, yeah. just for you. Yeah. My friend, he'll, recur he'll reverse the curse here, manipulate the outcome there yeah. just to make a way for you. Yeah. Do I have a witness here? Yeah. He'll do it when the odds are stacked against you. Yeah. When folk are shaking their heads, declaring it not to be so. Yeah. While people are laughing and making a mockery of where shall go forward on dry ground but catch this through the midst of the sea in other words God made a way out of no am I preaching today in the midst of the sea with enemies behind them God made a way out of no way and just like that God can he will, and he has done the same things for us. You see, my friends, none of us are here or have arrived because of our own merit. Yeah. Nothing about you or me is that good to deserve all the things that we have received. Yeah. God is behind all of this. Yeah. I believe I better say that thing again. Yeah. I say God yeah. is behind all of this. When you see everything I have, how blessed I am, don't go around and say he think he all of that. I've come to grips with reality. Yeah. Everything that happened to me yeah. that was good, yeah. God did. Yeah. And do I have a witness in the house today? Yeah. Many days, my friend, when we cannot see our way, God made a way out of nowhere. Yeah. Yeah. Can I tell you something, Brother Edwards? In our lives, God sometimes removes this person right. and that group of people yeah. just to make a way yes, out of no way for us. Yes, sometimes, sometimes, sometimes God will rearrange circumstances yes, just to pull you through scorching fire. Yes, Why? Because God is commissioned mm -hmm. to make it a way yes, out of no way. Yeah. I wish, I wish today that I, that I had a witness that could testify, that, that they could say, I, I'm the host of people. I, I, I'm one of the folk pastors that, 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 that can say, I haven't always been a good at two shoes. Yeah. I, I haven't dotted every I. I sure haven't crossed every T. I made some mistakes. I've been down, been held captive by sin, degradation, and despair. But one day, he made a way for me. Somebody ought to just shout one day. I thought I was going under. Thought it was over. Everybody was laughing. They were clapping. I was fine to shut up. But one day, good God of mercy, he made a way just for me. Hallelujah. Let's tell somebody he made a way. 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 
made a way. My friends, we must learn to accept that nothing we have done brought us to the fruitfulness of our lives. Yeah. God did all of this. Yeah. Like, I love, I love, I love to tell people how bad God really is. Yeah. I, I love, I love for folks to look at me and say, you know, I just don't know how you're doing it. Hey Amen. I can show off and just tell them how bad my God is. Yeah? Because life, some, life is real funny, y'all. Life, life is real funny. Sometimes, amen, the Lord allows, amen, certain situations to happen. Amen. And you just don't know what the Lord is doing. But, but, but in the darkness of the night, amen, when you can't see your way, when you your pillows filled with tears when, when all hope seems to be gone. I'm a living witness today that God can make a way. Yeah. Lord, I wish I had a witness in here today. Somebody said, how in the world are you going to keep on preaching, keep on telling people about a God, amen, that seemingly has forsaken you. Took your mama, came back two months later, took your father. I'm determined that God will make a way. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying in here. Look at your neighbor and say, he made a way, 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 he made a way. Why are you praying? Because he made a way. Why are you shouting? Because he made a way. Why are you still standing? Because God made a way. Yes, sir. All right. Made a way. It was, it was God who made the way. It was God who cleared the path. It was God who leveled the plane. It was God. And it was nobody but God. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus made a way out of no way. And, and I, what I want to tell the church today is that we cannot come to, to, to celebrations like this with spirits of arrogance. We can never get so high and force others to believe that we did this or we did that. The devil is a liar. God did all of this. I ain't gonna let nobody take credit for something God did. See, because if I give them the credit when I need them again, I got to go back to them and ask them to do it again. But when God does it, y'all don't hear what I'm saying? When God does it, He doesn't require it to be done over because He does it so good the first time. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying? And I come to the turn. I've come to realize that when God does something, He does it good and very good. Can I get a witness in the house today? Just look at somebody say, God made a way. God made a way. He brought us rivers of life from a telephone line. Come on, man. Y'all ain't hear what I'm saying, dude? Brought us from a telephone line to a baseball training center. And they were nice in the church history today. Y'all remember that baseball training center? The bathrooms didn't even work. Y'all ain't saying that. There was no offices over there. Y'all ain't saying nothing. The building on the outside was sky blue. Y'all ain't talking over there. The table over there was a green communion table. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Y'all can act like that if you want to. And, and, and the microphone that they talked about was connected to a Bluetooth speaker. And every time you talk, the speaker lit up. Y'all ain't saying nothing. We had to put chairs out every Saturday evening. Y'all ain't saying Oh, y'all gonna act like that today. But God brought us from a baseball training center. Lord have mercy today. And then we're all on murder and murder and rolls high. Y'all yeah. yes, think y'all hot today? <laughs> y'all ain't seen hot. Over there on Mercy Road, it was a, a old car garage. There won't no ventilation. Y'all ain't saying nothing to me. There won't no air condition. Y'all ain't saying nothing to me. It was hotter than hot. It was so hot, I came to the church and said, look, for the rest of the summer, don't nobody wear no dress up clothes. Wear your shorts, wear your t-shirts, whatever you got to do, we gonna have a heat stroke if we don't get out of this place. Yeah. And in the winter time, oh Lord, <laughs> in the winter time, that aluminum got so cold, I be trying to get responses from folk in Bible study, and they teeth be chattering. That was good, Pastor Jesus. See, he's good, but it's cold in here. But God brought us from nothing. Y'all ain't saying that. Lord have mercy. Didn't have anything, but, but God did. Yeah. 
over there. Didn't he have a keyboard? Y'all ain't saying nothing. Man, man. We would get over there and sing hymns. You know? and, and we would get over there and, 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 and we sing songs like uh, y'all remember that song we used to sing? It talked about uh, when, 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 when King Kazuya died and we saw the Lord high
have done all they can do. God specializes yes, yes, in healing diseases yes. that are incurable. Yes. And God can do yes, what no other power. Yeah, yeah. Holy Ghost power. Am I preaching to anybody? Yeah. Holy Ghost power can do. Yeah. I'm getting ready to get out of here, but I want to I drop something on you today. My friends, the scripture teaches us that God has making way ability. Yeah. Yeah. Listen to this. Listen to this. God says this on Lisa in Isaiah 43 and 19. Behold, I will do a new thing. Am I preaching in here? He said, and it shall spring forth. Am I preaching? He said, I will make a way in the wilderness and make a river in the desert. God, oh y'all hear what I said. God said, behold, I'll do a new thing. Somebody just shout a new thing. He said, and it shall spring forth. I'll make a way in the wilderness. I feel God here. And I'll make a river in the desert. God declares that he and he alone will do a new thing. He'll do something fresh. Do something vibrant. He'll do something unknown to mankind. He'll turn your life around. Redirect your path. Recharge and change your direction. God is going to do a new thing. And guess what? The text says you shall see it. I don't know who I'm preaching to today, but God told me to tell you, you're going to live to see it happen. I don't know. Can I be your prophet this afternoon? I know the cookout is waiting on us, but tell somebody I'm going to live to see it happen. I'm going to live to see God turn it around. I'm going to live to see God bring me through. I'm going to live to see it happen. He says, he says, I'm going to do a new thing. He says, it's going to spring forth. He said, you're going to be able to embrace it. He said, you're going to be able to see it. He said, you're going to live to enjoy it. He said, because I'm going to make a way in the wilderness. Can I tell you what the wilderness is? It's an uncultivated, uninhabited, and inhospitable region. It's a dark and a gloomy place. It's a place of unrest, a place of unease, a place of misery, and a place of pain. The wilderness is a lost place. Lost people wander in the wilderness. They move around aimlessly without a purpose. And many of us have been in the wilderness. Am I preaching today? Many of us have traveled through the wilderness. Many of us have had wilderness experiences. Cried in the wilderness. Ached in the wilderness. Hearts broken in the wilderness. Oh, but I hear God say, I'm going to make a way in the wilderness. God said, I ain't going to take you out of the wilderness. I'm just going to show you how bad I am in the midst of what you're going through. In the midst of your hell. In the midst of your hurting. God said, I'm going to make a way. But then he says, I'm going to make a river in the desert. The desert is a dry place. It's an arid land. No vegetation. Less than 25 centimeters of water fall every year. Therefore, there's no life there. Yeah. And all of us have been in the desert. Lived in the desert. Worked in the desert. Had friends in the desert. There's no life in the desert. But God said, I'm going to send water. Because water is a sign of life. I don't know who I'm preaching to today. But God is going to make a way out of no way. Our main scripture text says, and I'm getting ready to close. But lift up thy rod. Stretch out thy hand over the sea. And the children of Israel shall go forth on dry ground. Listen to this. There are a plethora of songs that speak about God's ability. Y'all gonna let me work just a little bit longer? Darwin Hobbs said he's able. Donald Warren said he's God all by himself. 
Luther Barnes said God's got it. He's got the power and he can do anything. Darius Pop said he had a strong name. But I was listening this morning to God Peoples. God he said he could own Tyler God. Yes, he is. And I was listening to the chorus. And I said, okay, I ain't not again. But then Johnny got to the verse. And she said, you can ask the children of Israel. Trap at the Red Sea. By that mean old Pharaoh. And his army. He has water all around. And Pharaoh was on that track.
Don't get stuck in the curve. Yeah. God says, go forward. Yeah. And some of us are scratching our heads and how can I go forward when I'm standing in the middle of a Red Sea? <laughs> how can I go forward yeah. when everything I've known is washed away? Yeah. But God said, take what you have. And stretch forth yeah. your rock. Yeah. Whatever you got, God says, stretch it forth. Yeah. God said, I can make a highway yeah. with what you got left. Yeah. 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 I don't know who I'm talking to today, but I believe you can live mm -hmm. on broken pieces. Yeah. 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 Whatever it is that's broken your life. Grab it. Because he says I can make a way. Out of nothing. And the thing that, 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 that I hear God say today is I'm going to use what you got now mm -hmm. to make that way. Just for you. He said, Don't worry about what you lost. Think about what you got left. Yeah. And he tells Moses, you got it wrong. Use it. I don't know who this word is for today, but if for nobody else, it's for me. Yeah. And I think I know now what I'm going to say Saturday. You got it wrong. All right. Use it. Yes, sir. I don't know who I'm talking to today, but God says you got rod. Mm -hmm. Use it. Because he can make a way yeah. Yeah. out yeah. of no way. Yeah. We didn't get to hoop and dance and holler, but I appreciate you praying for me today. Yeah. I appreciate you giving me a little bit of time to get through it. Yeah. But God will make a way. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Out of the way. Pray with me. Father, we love you today. We appreciate you for who you are. Appreciate you for what you've done. Appreciate you for your strong hand. You are more than able to bring us through. You're more than able to bring us over. You're more than able to bring us out. You said to Moses, stretch forth your rod. And the Bible says that the water split and they went across on dry ground. The waters were very deep, but just like that, you made a way out of nowhere. We pray, God, that you would give us the strength to see your way. And everything that we've done. And everything that we face and all that we have to endure. Help us to see your way. Out of the way. We love you today. We pray God that as we continue to celebrate. The milestones that you have given us. As a church. We pray God that you would continue to bless us and be on our side. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. We're going to prepare to depart. I want to pray that each and every one of you would fellowship with us with the help in, in our healthy competition. Now I don't know so much about the food being so healthy but the competition is healthy. And so come out and get a nice set. Come get a nice meal. Nice laughter. And have a good time with us. Amen. Amen. The doors of the church are open. Maybe there's one today that doesn't know Jesus as a free partner of their sin. Would you stand? Maybe you want to give your life to the Lord. If that's you, would you come? If not, maybe there's someone today that says, Pastor, I feel short and I want to rededicate my life to the Lord. I want to give it back to Him. If that's you, would you come? He's more than able to accept you back in. 
If not, maybe you say, Pastor, I want to become a part of the Rivers of Life Church. I want you to be my pastor. I want these people to be my family. I want to be one of your own. I want to believe and flow. I want to plant myself here as a member. If that's you, would you come? Come one, come all, in the name of the Lord. Would you stand with us? Give God praise. One has come today to be a part of our family, the Rivers of Life family. We, we, we don't proclaim to be a perfect church. We just proclaim to know a perfect God. Yeah. And so we ask, amen, Sister Charlotte is coming that she might take some information. Three ways today that you can come. You can come by Christian experience. Come by letter from your former church, you can come by baptism. And then we're going to allow you to communicate those uh, wants with Sister Charlotte in the name of the Lord. While we're doing that, amen, we pray also that you will continue to keep us lifted in your prayers as we go through what seems to be difficult times. But the Lord is more than able yeah. to carry us through and to keep us Amen. In the center of His will, we are right where God wants us to be. Amen. Amen. We might question it, but we believe that we are right where God wants us to be. He knew we would be here long before the world began. Amen. And what we what we say is too soon. God says it's just right on time. Amen. And so we, we 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 pray. We pray that you would continue to keep us lifted in prayer. We are at peace. Amen. We're at peace knowing that our dad. When he couldn't see that gold tooth shining in the wind no more, he would decide to be with her. So we're at peace knowing that they can be together. It hurts, but our hearts are at peace knowing that they can finally rest together forever. Amen. And so one has come today. Sister Charlotte, she has come today to us by Christian experience. Christian experience. And so what we do on the first Sunday, amen, we will give her the right hand of fellowship and welcome her, amen, amen. as a member of the Rivers of Life Church. If she is not here, just let me know, amen, and we'll do it sooner than that, amen, amen, amen. amen. because I know she travels as in the military. Come on, Rivers of Life, let's give God praise for another one of us. Father, we need it, but we pray, God, that as we lead, you would bless us and keep us. Bless the food that we're going to partake in as a family. May it nourish our bodies in Jesus' name. As we dismiss ourselves from your pre from this place, but never your presence, keep us in the center of your will, covered under our blood, under your blood in Jesus' name. Amen. If you'd like to give the receptacles are here on the corners of the pulpit, or you can text your gift of any amount to 910-335-8663. Again, that number is 910-335-8663. Or you can text your gift of any amount to Rivers of Life. Two, that's capital R, capital O, capital L, and the number two. Where was the light to? God bless you. We love you. We'll see you in a little while. Everybody say. Amen. Amen. Amen.